Hello. In this presentation, I would like to present to you the new planning tools that we have released in PESCAN in May 2020. We have greatly improved and enhanced our planning features. And in this presentation, I want to walk you through the changes and, uh, and what, show you what is new. Um, because I think if you are used to uh, the planning tools in PESCAN, um, you will see that we have made big changes and it's important to understand what is different. Uh, previously in PESCAN, uh, you could create uh, your planning data here in a location. Here we have the uh, button bar that you are familiar with, I think. And here in planning was the place where you could set the interval and the frequency for the visits for this customer site. For example, the number of visits per year was here set to 12, time to spend to 60 minutes. And the date when you wanted to visit could be set here, for example, to Tuesday. And from our customers, we got uh, feedback quite frequently about uh, the good sites and also about the uh, shortcomings of this planning site. Because let's say um, this customer site needs to be visited 12 times a year to inspect mice boxes, but also four times a year to inspect fly lamps and maybe once a year for a general uh, inspection or an audit. That could not all be set here at the same time. You had to make a choice. It was either 12 times a year for mice or four times a year for fly lamps or once a year for an inspection. And if you wanted to create the planning for each one of these visit types, you had to modify the uh, number of visits per year, generate the planning and modify it again, generate the planning again, and so on. And that was quite complicated and it demanded a lot of extra work. So we listened well to the feedback and we have totally rewritten the planning tools. And I think it is much more flexible now and much easier, but um, you have to go through a bit of a learning curve because everything is quite different now. Uh, when developing these tools, we have looked carefully at Microsoft Outlook and Windows and Google Calendar, and we try to mimic um, those tools and to carry over the same um, way of organizing your uh, calendar. So if you are familiar with the, these tools, uh, you can reuse your knowledge and apply it to the planning tools in PESCAN as well. So. This page has now been disabled <coughs> because it's now out of use. We will leave it for a little while so you can view the data that you had entered here previously. And now we have to go all the way here to the contracts button. Because let's say you have a contract with a customer, but with this customer, um, you will have different, uh, let's say, subcontracts, different activities. And we call them services. I will show you in a minute. A few other things have been moved around a bit. So before we had all the data under contracts, all the invoicing data and the contract details, we have now split them into a general tab. So you have to get used to the new location. That may be confusing if you have used it a lot already, but in a few weeks, I'm sure this will be much easier because it's better organized. So we have the general contract information here, the price, and when you go to invoicing, if you have the invoicing module from PESCAN, you will see all the bank and invoice details. They are now here. Documents was all the way at the, at the end, down on the page, and that's now here. Okay, so let's go to services. So now you can create different services. So let's say we have, a, you have one customer, the uh, test company, and there could be different visit locations like Amsterdam, Rotterdam, uh, London, New York, wherever you are. And inside a visit location, there could be different services like the mice contract, the fly lamps. I have not created it yet. So let's say mice 12 times a year. And the fly lamps, you will do it maybe once uh, a quarter, so four times a year. And maybe you have a general inspection. So let's have a look 
at the mice contract. So before I continue, all your data that was here in the tab page planning has been migrated to a first default surface. So with this new feature, you are not going to lose any data. It will just be in a different place. So I expand mice contract. Uh, you give it a name, uh, a root code. Uh, that is very practical later on when we are going to create the planning. I will show you that in a minute. Uh, give it a task, visit type, the technician, um, the time for the visit, the duration, and then very importantly, because so far it's not very new, but below here, the recurrence. How often do you want to visit this customer site to inspect for mice? So I've entered here some free text once a month. And here from the pick list, I've selected monthly. A monthly visit on a specific day of the month, the third Tuesday of each month, and one month between the visits, which means every month and not every second month. Between the begin date and end date, as indicated here. So to illustrate further, I will now create a new surface for fly lamps. Uh, fly lamps. Also, see it's the same uh, address. Inspect lamps and count and set. So uh, I'm going to do it by default. That will be me. Uh, the start visit time will be 10 o'clock and the duration is maybe 60 minutes. So far so good. And now we go to the interesting part because I want to indicate that we will visit this customer site to inspect fly lamps four times a year. Also on the third Tuesday of each month. So quarterly free text. You can have anything you like. It must be monthly, third Tuesday of each month, but only quarterly. So there will be three months between the visits. Okay, so I save all. And now we have two contracts, two services, as we call them. We call them services to differentiate between contracts and services. We have the mice and we have the fly lamps. The next step would be to create the planning into the calendar. So I've now done the configuration and you really have to do this for each customer site. So probably you have already done it here in the planning tab. As I said, it will be copied over to a first default service. You can extend now by creating more services. This is all a one-time thing you need to do. All the data will be preserved. You can reuse it every year. So when a new customer comes in or a new service is added to the, to the, to the contract, uh, you can add it here. Again, a one-time event that you have to do, one-time action. And when all's been set up, you can create planning sets. So planning sets, let me go here to the overview. Uh, a planning set is really a combination of customers, customer sites, uh, routes, that you all combine into one planning set. So when I open it, you can see I have some selected items in this set for these customers. Let me now create a new planning set to make it clear. So I go to uh, the button new and I choose root code C and I find the two contracts that I've just illustrated, the mice 12 times a year and the fly lamps four times a year. And I save it. Oh, I need to give it a name. Right, C planning set. Yes, there we go. Save. I go back to the overview. So now I have two planning sets, one for route A and one for route C. What is this? What are we looking at? A planning set is a combination of customer locations, contract services that have something common like, for example, the route or the uh, postal code, the province or the employee, whatever you decide they have in common. If you want, you can put all your customers into one planning set to make it easy. Or you can split up by employee or you can split up by region or, as I have done here, split up by route code. 
And as you can see in route A, there are four services. When I open it, you can see it does not pertain to just one customer. It has two different customers and for each one, two contracts. When I go back to the one I've created just now, uh, there are two different uh, contracts, services, I should say, for one customer. So they will just sit here. You create them once and you need, don't need to repeat this action every year. You only need to make changes when you have new customers, new contracts, new services. You add them here. And once they have been created, they will sit here. And what will be next? Next will be to generate actual visits from these planning sets. You can do it by selecting them all. And then you click on the button generate here on the right for 2023, for example, when you when I hit this button, all the visits for all these customers will be put into the calendar. So there will be work orders for your technicians. You can also do it on a by planning set. So I go to the root C here. So we have the two contracts here and I go to save and next here. In, and now you will see something very interesting. This is a proposal. So we had a proposal page before in Pescan that generates planning from schema. So here we have a totally new user interface. So uh, we here have the customer location, Amsterdam, and the two contracts that I've just illustrated to you. This one was existing. This one I just created while you were watching. And as you can see, for the MICE contract, we have a visit every third um, Tuesday of each month. So just believe me for now, uh, this is the third Tuesday, 18th of January, 2022. You can check for yourself. So for each um, visit, there is a uh, pink bullet, white pink. That's the visit type, as you can see here. When I go to the informational icon here, pink means, uh, well, control. It, uh, uh, it was entered in a different language. Let's say inspection. Uh, there is a little line here, which is today. Visits will not create be created before today. So if I want to see it for um, the next year, uh, let's just go back to the previous page and uh, I can select 2023 here. And then you will see there is no such line for today and all the visits will be in the future. And uh, the fly lamps visit is also on the third Tuesday of each uh, month. So on the same day, and maybe you remember, I started the mice visits at nine o'clock and the fly lamps at 10. So the technician will be there and he can visit them both. If his day will be too busy, you can just move the bullet here to a different moment. It changes shape now. So you know that you have changed it and I can put it back. And when I click the generate button, all the visits will show up in the calendar. So let me go back to the overview to the other one. So that was root C. I will now go to root A um, that was created previously before this demo. So now you can see what happens when you have several customers in the same planning set. I have two different customers. The first customer has two services. The second customer has also two services and I can also move oops, the bullet to the correct day. So the two visits will be on the same day, like so. And this is today. And the gray part means this is outside the end of contract date. So that will be good to know. It's something you can fix. Again, click generate and all the visits will be in the calendar. There are some settings you can make now when you go to the settings icon here, right top, the gear wheel, uh, and you go to the second button calendar. It was there before. We had these settings already in the previous version, but now we have the uh, option to add weekend days and holidays. And you can indicate uh, what happens when a visit is going to be planned on a Saturday. You can now say it should be moved to the previous Friday. And if it's on a Sunday, it should be moved to the next Monday. And the animation here shows what will happen. I hope you like it. I like the animation. Go to holidays here. You can enter a list of holidays. So we don't pin you down on Christmas, although 
I like celebrating Christmas, but if you have different holidays in your country or your company, you can add them here. And if a visit is going to happen on the 25th, you can make it move to the 27th or to the day before Christmas, if you prefer. Well, this is May. So, yes, so it will move to, a earlier, to an earlier day, etc. So, short summary, in a customer location, you enter the services for each visit um, uh, contract that you have. Secondly, you create planning sets here in planning overview. Uh, and when you have them ready, you can generate them at any moment. And all the visits will be in the calendar. I really hope you enjoy our new planning tools. Um, they're also in a special license, the planning license. If you don't have it, be sure to get it. And if you have any feedback, anything you would like to be better or improved, please let us know.